Samsung announces the Galaxy Mega 5.8 and 6.3 jumbo phones. Microsoft is preparing a 7-inch Surface tablet, and the LG Optimus G Pro is now being rumored for AT&T. I'm Jaime Rivera, and yeah, you guessed it, all my polo shirts are in the laundry. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off talking about Google as they finally, I mean finally launched their screen cover for the Nexus 10. I mean, think about it. The Nexus 10 was launched almost for, I, it was the fall of last year. It's been so many months since this product was launched and we finally get an accessory. We hate the fact that Google does this, but links in the description in case you're interested. Then let's talk about Nokia as the company has just announced that they're bringing some software updates for their current Lumia lineup for a lot of stability, performance, improvements. So stay tuned, this will be rolling in the next couple of days. But aside from that, we also have some leaked videos of the tap to wake feature that's coming to the Lumia 920 as a software update. And it's kind of interesting because, well, ever since BlackBerry brought that on the Z10, it's now the new thing. So hopefully it'll come soon to the Lumia 920. Now let's talk about Microsoft. The Wall Street Journal is now predicting that the company is working on a 7-inch tablet. And given the fact that the popularity of 7-inch tablets ever since the Nexus 7 was launched, it does make sense to finally see this coming in smaller form factors, as it's also rumored that Windows 8.1 will include the ability to fit on smaller displays. Now, that being the fact, let's just hope that this is not a Windows RT thing, or that Windows 8.1 really merges RT with Windows 8 and we don't have to put up with uh, meager features. But we'll keep you posted. The LG Optimus G Pro is up next as well. It's rumored that this device will reach AT&T on May 10th, so if you're interested on an alternative to the Galaxy Note 2, this is probably your device. But aside from that, there is a value pack that's landing to current customers of the Optimus G Pro that will bring new features. And guess what these features are? Everything that you saw the Galaxy S4 can do, well, that's it in a nutshell. I mean, if you're looking at a video, for example, and you turn your face away from the device, it'll detect that you're turning your face away and it'll pause the video. You can also take a photo and actually add yourself into the frame. So Samsung-like, right? And finally, for the funny news of the day, Samsung has just unwrapped their Galaxy Mega 5.8 and 6.3 jumbo phones. And that's the designator for the screen size, by the way, 5.8 and 6.3, as if the Galaxy Note 2 wasn't already big enough. But wait, here comes the punchline. These are not high-end devices. I mean, think about it. The 5.8-inch display Galaxy Mega brings a QHD display. Uh, that resolution, I don't even want to calculate the PPI. I think that's even worse than a typical computer. That is just terrible, but that leads me to the question of the day. Do you think that Samsung is releasing too many Galaxy phones that are not necessarily high-end products? I mean, people think of the new Galaxy as the new high-end Samsung product, but then you get all these cheap Galaxy Aces, and now we get the Galaxy Mega and the Galaxy S4 Mini and all these products that just, I don't know, they just wither the whole branding. I feel that they're not really doing something good for Samsung, especially when you think about a big phone like this that won't really add any value to current Galaxy customers. But anyways, leave us a comment down below I believe they're doing too much. Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on Pogginow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.